In Africa, the black mamba has been the subject of stories for generations, like the legend of the mamba that attacked a sleeping family, killing all but the youngest child. like this are what make people fear the mamba above any other snake. I think all snakes are evil, but the mamba is the king of them. <laughs> he's, he's the most terrifying snake there is. As a young farmer, Fawn Martin had an encounter that still haunts him 20 years later. Something told me to look down. I believe it was my guardian angel. And I looked down and right in front of me was the biggest black mamba I've ever seen. It was the most terrifying moment of my life. That snake and I, we stared into each other's eyes. To me, it felt as though I was looking into the devil's eyes. After my initial shock, I could think extremely clearly. It was as though time stood still and we just stared at each other. I got the idea that I was going into a trance here and I had to fight to not, not, not let that happen. And then I thought, you fool, you have a rifle in your hands. Shoot the snake. And I was shaking so much I couldn't aim properly. I knew I would miss him. So I backed away. I walked all the way back to my motorbike. I've shot mambas that are 12 foot six. And this one was definitely big. I don't know how big, but he was definitely, <laughs> I believe he was the biggest mamba in the world. But in the mamba's world, size doesn't matter. All are highly venomous, including newborns. Inside every one of these eggs is a deadly baby with the power to kill a dozen humans. And they're just bursting to get out. This is an event thought to be caught on film for the first time. The snakes come into the world with a notorious dark mouth that inspired the black mamba's name. At birth, they're nearly two feet long, as long as most other adult snakes. They're also far more venomous. And they're hatching under somebody's house. As soon as they're free from the egg, the hatchlings set out on their own to defend and feed themselves. <laughs> 